What's up, peoples? I'm a Sonic fan, guy. I'm a huge, huge Sonic fan. And oh my god, the best game ever came out last year. This game for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 is fucking amazing. If this is my review of this awesome, 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 awesome Sonic game. The gameplay's great, the graphics are great, the music's great, everything's great, and the reason why this game is so fucking awesome is because it's a Sonic game, it's Sonic, 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 If any of you disagree with me, I'm gonna flame the hell out of you! Nobody hates Sonic! Nobody! Alright there guys, this is, um, Swift, not the Sonic fan girl. Um, I hope you had fun watching that. It was a bit silly, it's a bit spur at the moment, but... What I wanted to do was um, just point something out. Um, oh, it wasn't done to offend any huge rabid Sonic fanboys. It wasn't done to offend anyone. What I did that for was to show people just how it's m reviewed sometimes. I'll go on GameSpot and other places and I'll see reviews for like any Sonic game. And they, these, there's these rabid fanboys that don't give any reason as to why the game's good. They just go and say it's good because it's Sonic. And then they go and insult anyone who doesn't like it. <laughs> Accuse them of being, um, Sonic haters. Even if they like the series, if they hate that one game, they're accused of being haters. And I noticed this with a couple of friends of mine. And what I did that for was to prove a point. There's no reasoning given there as to what makes the gameplay, graphics, whatever, great. It just says it's Sonic and that's it. What I wanted to say was that Sonic, Sonic's not a perfect series, if you know what I mean. No series is perfect. Every series has its bad game, Sonic included. Can people honestly say they enjoyed Sonic Edge of Genesis just because it's Sonic? Or any other retro games that are all crappy like Sonic Labyrinth or the Drift series or any of those? Tower Sky Patrol. To be honest, no Sonic game, no, not every single Sonic game is perfect. It's the same with other series. Not every single Mario game is perfect. Not every single Zelda game is perfect. They have crappy games. I mean, there's the CDI games for Zelda, even if they weren't made by Nintendo. Then there's Mario is mission, missing for Mario. What does he mission for? Point is, not every single Sonic game is perfect, and a lot of the reasoning behind these fanboys reviews is that it's Sonic, and if you don't agree with that, and if you hate this game, you're a Sonic hater, and I'll hate you, and I'm gonna flame the crap out of you. Yeah. I just wanted to prove a point with that. So anyway, now we're actually gonna get on to my real review of this game. This is what I really think of this game. Okay, so once you do start the game, you get a loading screen. Expect to see those a lot. And that's not a good thing either. Anyway, I got this game about a year ago. I bought it thinking it was going to be great. And, needless to say, I was disappointed. I wished I'd never got it, almost. And I'm reviewing it now to share my experience with this game, despite the fact other people have already ripped into this game. I want to share my experience. Right, so we've got these four options here. We've got single player, which is, you know, options, extras, which way you can look at audio and theatre, like cutscenes and music. Multiplayer, there's a tag mode where you can help each other get to the goal, and battle mode where you just get to the goal first. But there's main bulk of the games in single player, and there's an episode where you can play through the story mode. There's the um, trial select, which um, you can pick levels and town missions. And gold medal results, which is pretty self explanatory. We're going to go into episode select right here. Never forget trial select. Go into episode select. There's three episodes. You only start off with Sonic, and you unlock the other two along the way. Let's go into Sonic's, and then um, right off the boat, we get another fucking loading screen. Amazing, isn't it? 
They are very, very fucking common. It's very annoying. And they last for ages. You could go off and do something else in the meantime it's loading. You could bake an egg, cook an egg while it's loading. It just takes a long time. It's not the worst loading screen, but it's terrible regardless. Right. Now we find ourselves in like this area of Soliana. Yep, the RPG elements from Sonic Adventure are back. And I'm not very pleased to see them either. It's a lot bigger. Needless to say, it's a lot bigger. And it's almost pointless. Um, Sonic isn't moving as fast as what you'd expect him to. And did you see it freeze up there? Why the fuck did it freeze up there? I'd like to know. And it does this every now and then on mine. It freezes up for like about a second or so. It might just be my 360 or it might just be the game itself. I don't know. All the other 360 games I've played don't do it. Right then, let's talk to um, a mission guy get doing a town mission and I'll show you what I mean by town missions. He wants you to do something for him, you say yes. And this is the loading screen and I am not cutting any bits of it out to show you just how fucking long it is. It's very frustrating very long, very tedious. As I said, you can cook an egg while this is going on. And this is just ridiculous. Let me show you. After that loading screen, the guy tells you what to do. And after he tells you what to do, you're faced with another loading screen, just as long as the last one was. What's the point of that? He's just told you what to do. It's barely like a sentence full of what he tells you what to do. And, yeah, after the loading screen, you do the actual mission. And there's various dis different missions here. There's um, town missions for like collecting rings like this. And this is, can you see this? I was actually really struggling to pick up the rings because Sonic, the controls just aren't very strong, like tight at all. Sonic's all over the fucking place. You know, the controls just not that great at all. It's ridiculous. Some of the missions, though, are just too damn ridiculous. I mean, like this one. You talk to the guy who sends you on the mission, and it turns out that it's the guy you're looking for. I mean, it's just impossible to not get an S rank. And then there's other ridiculous missions, like Trial of Love, having to pick incredible. between at least Amy. And it doesn't matter which one you pick. Some missions you just cannot not get an S rank on. Regardless of whether you complete the mission or not, you get faced with another fucking loading screen like this. And in this case, if you don't complete the mission, then the guy just says, oh, thanks for trying, and whatever, and gives you another fucking loading screen. Making up for a total of about five loading screens. Fantastic. Bloody fucking brilliant. So once the uh, tedium of the loading screens is over, you'll go back to the, the um, adventure field the uh, town area, wherever the fuck you want to call it. And it's just, I just don't see really see the point of the area. Some people, if you like the, um, whatchamacallums in, um, the adventure fields in Sonic Adventure might not mind it so much, but it's just not that good at all. And another learning screen for each area you go to. Yeah. Well, that is just absolutely ridiculous. But it's worse, it's more yet to come.